Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q2. And in this episode, we're gonna map out the first floor of Kamoshida Man. Wait, excuse me, First Avenue. It's a city, not a dungeon. <laughs> Anyways, before we get too deep into things and explore this labyrinth and map it out 100%, I just wanna take the time to say thank you all so much for the explosive reception to episode one, like, God dang, y'all really know how to make me feel loved. I really appreciate it, you have no idea. But, uh, how it's mapping coming along? Pretty darn well, I think. I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job. If you look on the bottom screen, yeah, I've already decided to take the liberty to map out the first floor just for the sake of completion. And, you know, this is a guide, so to speak, so I want to do a good job in case you never played the game before. But, uh, yes, we're getting into a battle. A scripted one, no doubt. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a movie. There's a script. I'm hilarious. <laughs> New enemies. They have a rather interesting shape to them. Uh, well, I'm sure it'll be a breeze. If we figure out their weaknesses, yeah? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we can do that. Actually, these guys are more aggressive than the ones before. Be careful, everyone. Uh, will do. And the game's going to talk about boosted allies. If a character has a boost you're gonna do a lot more damage and that's really just about the like gist of it it really doesn't matter that much more in my opinion but you know you might agree or disagree should we do line guard yeah we might as well show it off so since ryuji's in the front row he can activate this skill and protect everybody he's such a good guy um let's go ahead and do just a regular attack with yusuke over there uh, I really am just still figuring things out, so I'm not really trying to be too extreme, but let's go! Cat's a kid! I imagine he literally, like, shields everybody using his pirate ship. I don't know. That's just me. And is this... No, he's actually not weak to that crud. I don't actually know all the weaknesses of the enemies so far, but Dream Needle actually didn't get the... Man, we didn't get the sleep. Feels bad. So, oh, wow. That's going to get um, on into the boost state, though, which is good. And she didn't get hit. Oh, snap. But that guy came up. So we're still a ways away from getting an all-attack, but that's fine. And I'm always recording data from the weaknesses of the shadow. Let me know if you want to check them. Will do. But I think we'll be fine for right now because uh, these guys are still relatively weak. Um... Let's just go crazy. Let's just let's just knock him out. What are we doing here? Waiting for it? The battle's in PQ. Um, for the most part, a little more on the uh, slow and methodical side, which is an aspect that I like. But you're going to notice basic attacks, which are just attacks that don't use SP or HP, suck. That did 28 damage. While on did literally 100, I'm pretty sure. Um, And this is most likely... Yeah, that did 63. So, unfortunately, yeah, you're going to have to use your SP skills a lot. Um, that's just the name of the game. The bonk there. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But these guys are almost done. Let's just auto them and get out of here. I got a lot of crap to talk about. Oh, no, no. We got to hit him. Okay. Wait, you actually got an all-out attack. Heck yeah. Let's go for it. Dude. I, I thought we were ways off from that. Oh, my gosh. Our team is so cool. Man, I love that new artwork for that it's so amazing and ending a battle with an all-out attack gives you various bonuses not just exp but also the money i'm pretty sure it is better because you're gonna get more rewards i'm not one oh yeah literally just explained that um i'm not sure if the item down there the hablary jewel oh my gosh i cannot read today which is bad because there's a lot of dialogue in this game that sells for more which is why you often want to do all-out attacks just like in the mainline persona games and just as I thought. I'm getting tired faster. Taking a break might not be the worst idea. Yeah, keep an eye on your health. You're fighting an unusual environment. Make sure you take the time to heal up. Yeah, 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 I'll be fine. I mean, there's a barbecue place right there. <laughs> but no, uh, definitely surviving the dungeons and, like, actually pacing your healing items to get to the end, to get to the stairs, is basically the name of the game here. But, uh... I know exactly how long the dungeons are going to be, so that kind of makes it easier on me. And speaking of the end of the dungeon... <gasps> what is that? Stairs. Whoa. To a subway station. Interesting. I kind of like that. That's kind of clever. I just realized. As I thought. There's stairs. Marvelous. Looks like they advanced the next floor. And we haven't spotted Queen and Noir yet, so it's best to keep on going. Right. So we're supposed to head over there? Like, we're gonna lose sight of it. Uh, and what if I do this and put a mark on the map? Uh, 
You could have asked first, but thank you, Akechi. You're so helpful. You're welcome. I'm glad I was able to be of use. Indeed. It'll be easier to see that way. <laughs> Come now. We know where to head to next. Let's look for a path that leads to those stairs. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. I was gonna do that anyways, Mr. <laughs> Detective, but, uh... In this walkthrough, uh, you might notice some things are a tiny bit different if you're playing the game at home. And I encourage you to do so. Please support the official release. What the crap was that noise? Oh my gosh. Oh yes, that thing <laughs> literally scared me. Um, I have disabled Japanese voices for this playthrough. I will be turning them on in some situations like cutscenes and stuff. The reason is, um, I realize a lot of you watch these videos tabbed out and you want to hear what actually happens. If I just let the Japanese voice actors go ham, I'd hardly get a ta chance to talk, so that is why. Yeah, that's basically all I had to say. And uh, oh, over there! Oh my gosh, what is that? Ew! Ah, uh, it's so randomly fast. Why is it doing that? Um, <laughs> so, this is what the guy does for fun. What? Uh, it's a. Uh, was it B L T? <laughs> what? Um, F O E. Uh, that's right. I believe it stands for fried chicken on egg. What? Uh, b, b is way better with eggs than chicken. Both are good. No, I stand by chicken. It's both cheaper and filling. He's got a point. <laughs> uh, while we ignore those comedians, I want to remind you the FOE is still really powerful. At the very least, you can't win against it right now. For sure. Wait, that's no good. I won't be able to go any further. Hey, I just noticed. Ain't that guy just walking around the same area? That he is. <laughs> Couldn't we, like, slip past him while the coast is clear? Uh, that's right. Good job, Skull. You're actually useful sometimes. But sometimes? I have you know he's a valuable party member. From the looks of it, this foe is patrolling a fixed route. Even after checking more closely, so not getting an immediate hostile reading from it. Okay. It's possible that won't act unless ordered by the police. So it won't attack us unless we make the first move? Well then, why don't we observe the foe's movements for a moment? If we work out its pattern, we'll surely be able to evade it. <laughs> I was going to do that anyways, catchy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phantom Thieves are getting sneaky. Let's do this, Joker. <laughs> we already, we always do that. What? It'll be quite troublesome if he catches up to us while we're fighting other enemies. Be sure to remain cautious while running away from FOEs. Gotcha. So, the main mechanic of the Etrian Odyssey games rears its head again. The FOEs are not to be messed with. Later on, we can fight these very powerful opponents and get seriously good loot. But right now, it's super risky. Also, getting into a battle while fighting one of those is not a good idea. So you got to make sure that your enemy encounter rate, which ours is right now at three, is going good. So right now, I've already mapped out his route. Kind of, I used the wrong arrows actually, on the bottom screen. So you can see kind of where he's heading. But uh, since we already know his fixed path because we analyzed it, he will not be able to touch us. It's easy as that. And, whew, managed to slip past that thing. To think something like that is wandering around here. What is this place truly? Uh, we'll probably find out in a month. Um, <laughs> Kamoshida Man City. I believe it was called Kamo City by the police officer earlier. Kamo City, what? What do you think of the name? It it sickens me. I'm not gonna lie, I still hate Kamoshida. I'm kinda happy I gotta beat him up again, but... Right? Seriously, the heck with this city named after Kamoshida? Kamoshida? Hmm. If I recall correctly, he's a former teacher at Shujin High, no? Yeah. He was the coach of the volleyball team. A lot of people got abused by him over the years. And it wasn't just physical abuse either. I almost got expelled by him. The Panther went through even worse hell. It's the worst piece of crap. He <laughs> saw himself as some kind of king. He just did whatever he wanted. A criminal with distorted desires. The first target of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> You're telling me he's some sort of superhero and his chicken minions? What's up with that? What? There's just no way. This can't be happening. I can understand how you two feel, but we need to keep our wits about us here. From what I've gathered so far, Kamoshida man and Kamoshida should be two different people. What? What leads you to believe so? 
Remember what Nagi-san sold us? Not really. <laughs> How the hero character appearance changed after we entered the movie. Oh uh, yeah, she did say something like that, huh? He wasn't Kamoshida man before we came here, apparently. So in other words, that hero of justice is only assuming the appearance of Kamoshida man. That's my current working theory. Hmm. This sounds like some bull <laughs> Uh, but why Kamoshida? That's a totally miscast role. Could it be related to us coming here? Probably. Well, Joker, what do you think? Are we somehow involved in this movie's hero taking on Kamoshida's appearance? Well, it'd be weirder if it wasn't. Yeah, it's gotta be related. I ain't that dumb. It's some cognitive bullcrap. Hmm, I agree. <laughs> However, we have too few clues to be able to make that sort of conclusion yet. Then all we need to do now is press on. Right! We gotta hurry and find those two! Yeah, let's keep going. Alright, sounds good to me. I wasn't gonna slow down. <gasps> what is this thing? I is that a ladder? I wonder where it leads. Oh man, if only Maya was here. <laughs> I do not know. How does it look on the map? Also, not Maya from P2. I need to specify. Wow, there's a lot of characters in Japanese games with similar names. Also, what the crud? There's two Makotos in this game? I just realized. What the? Uh. uh, it looks like it connects to the other side, to the path we saw earlier. Check it out. For real? Hey, let's check it out. I'd be able to use it in, like a secret path. Yeah, that is literally its only purpose. <laughs> Indicated by the little symbol on the bottom screen, which I placed there. We really got through? Wait. Is this right where we entered? I can't believe it took us this far. Looks like it's gonna be super useful. Yeah, I bet if we go through an area and drop a ladder, I have to get through the same way twice. It's like, uh, what's it called? Uh, short, uh, not short cat. <laughs> uh, could you mean shortcut? That is accurate though. Using this will make our exploration much easier. If we find ourselves in a similar situation again, let's try proactively searching the area. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Also, it'd be best to mark this on our map. Pfft, way ahead of you, Yusk! Don't even sweat it! So yeah, I don't- Wait, I actually have my- I went out and bought a 3DS stylus today, and the person there was like, You still play 3DS? And I was like, Yes! So cute, too, came out! Anyways, use the bottom screen, select a bunch of stuff. Uh, I usually make my maps kind of pretty, because I'm an idiot. Um. We'll get to what all this bullcrap means later, but it's pretty simple starting out. Just gotta put doors and walls where they go. It's as easy as that. It ain't too tough, and there's a lot of tools. Like, oh my gosh, I just gotta, like, pat Atlas on the back. They always one-up themselves in every release. The map tools in this game compared to, like, the first Persona Q, holy dumb! But it's way better! But, uh, anyways. You can call, all get back to the movie theater super quick now that we found that path. Are you just getting tired? Might be a good idea to return and take a break. Pfft, nah, I'll watch a movie in one sitting. True. We are used to this method, unused, this method of traveling. It may do us some good to head back and regroup. Pfft, I don't give a damn. Well, leave a decision to you, Joker. Uh, we're doing fine, but once you return to the movie theater, you automatically heal your HP and SP. No money required. Big change from the first Persona Q. I like that. But, uh, it wasn't really that expensive, though. I don't know. But now that we've done with that, let's actually tear through the rest of this dungeon and get to our first treasure chest or film canister, whatever. So you can put these on the bottom screen. Um, I just usually make them all the same thing. We got a revival bead. Heal somebody 100% once they get knocked out. Pretty nifty. But, uh, you notice I'm making sure to step on every single tile. That is because... If you do that in every single floor of the game, you do get a special reward. And which one? Okay, he's weak to that. I want to try and get another all-out attack. Hopefully we get a crit. Now, I made the very stupid promise in my first Persona Q playthrough that I will be 100%ing every floor and showing what is inside of the chests. I'm just going to level with you guys. That is too much goddamn work. I ain't doing that. But if there is something extremely powerful or useful inside a chest, I will let you know because I want, I want to help you guys out. A lot of these games are like intimidating to people because they're not used to like the play style and that makes me upset. I want people to enjoy these games to the best like 
just get the most out of them that you can. And ooh, single shot actually gets powered up. I think we're gonna do that because physical attacks actually get boosted by um when you're in the boost state. I know, crazy. Why would that happen in the boost state? I want to see if that thing's weak to fire. But sadly, Akechi's actually running out of SP, so we sort of need to conserve our um energy. <sighs> I am mad. These things should be dead like 12 times over. What is going on? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm not being careful. I gotta, I gotta actually take my time sometimes. <laughs> These enemies can be a problem. That is the most evasive table I've ever seen in my life. Get you. Did you Sukukaja? I'm pretty sure it did. What is it doing? Oh, it missed his attack. Okay. We cannot even hit this dude. This sucks. Oh, crud. Yusuke's dead! No, that's bad. Am I gonna get destroyed by a table? Oh, this sucks. This is such bad RNG. He should not be able to move that badly, or like, that often. Please, just die. One more. Yes! There we go, Joker. All right. So sadly, Yusuke was our sacrificial lamb. It's not gonna get ASP for that fight. Feels bad. Um, I'm probably gonna head back now, <laughs> like the game wanted me to, so, uh... Be right back, I suppose. Okay, after that blunder, we are all healed up and ready to continue exploring this, I want to say palace, but that is technically wrong. So, the chicken duel is about to cross our path. We don't really want that, so a common strategy is just kind of doing a little dance, and then, you see what I'm saying? You, you let the FOE just go about his business a little bit. I also want to make sure to get that tile. All right, we're good. So we're going to head over here because I think there's a little treasure chest that I want to grab. I could... Yeah, there is. Crazy. I'm not going to be as thorough in every single area of this game, just so you guys know. I know this is like, okay, you got a thousand yen. Who goes with the... I agree. But uh, early on, it is a good idea to just kind of like establish a bank, so to speak. And ooh, we're actually about to get into a battle. I want that. So I'm gonna like try and trigger that outside of the FOE's range because when you fight an FOE, every turn it happens in real time. So like, oh my gosh, where is this guy? Could you please just fight me? What is going on? I'm mad. I'm trying to show off a gameplay mechanic and it just won't happen. Well, screw it. I might risk this, but I'm going for it. Ah, okay, we made it. So if I got into a fight, on like uh, that tile where the FOE is, right? I'm just trying to demonstrate the best of my abilities. Wait, I have a stylus. I can point. So if we got into a fight right here, that FOE would have also entered the fight and totally uh beat the crap out of one of us. Probably Yusuke because he just seems to get into a lot of trouble. But uh, anyways, there's the battle that I wanted to fight. Let's go. Who were you taking on this time? Uh, a bunch of nerds. I don't feel like it, so I'm gonna run away. Yeah, I catch you helps us escape. Nice. I'm probably going to be doing that also because there's not a lot of enemies in the game right now, but that will change. Also, just a heads up, you're about to get into a boss fight. You want to use Iha and hit the shiny one. It's really that easy. Joker, I'm getting a shadow reading from beyond that door. I think you'll be able to fight. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yusuke's not dead. Chances are we ain't all going to die because of that. All right. Let's roll. He's so... You... Ryuji's just happy to be here. I like that about him. And Shadow reading approaching. Be careful, Joker. You just said that. Oh, wait. No, you mean literally right now. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to do? Whoa. It's a shiny one. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> there's a lot of these things. The game says it's a rare shadow, but there's like... I have ran into so many in the like hour I played yesterday, but I'm getting a different reading from the shadow in the back. I feel like it's up to something <laughs> what a special shadow you say how interesting we can neither focus our attacks on it now or deal with the others the decision is yours joker oh yeah i know buddy don't sweat it so in the labyrinth <laughs> you may encounter special golden shadows they have bonus rewards but they're also a lot tougher so make sure to analyze them i have already done this so we're gonna be fine so we're gonna use iha on it and um yeah, we want to be careful. Ryuji's got some SP to blow, so we're going to line guard up the main row. I might also Sukukaja up Joker just to ensure that our attacks will land. Let's go ahead and hit the weak spot on that shadow, and, well, our bo Oh, crap. Whoa, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. He was actually faster than Ryuji, too, and that's impressive. He's a sprinter, but, well, the Joker's about to be faster than pretty much everybody now because of Sukukaja, but... Robin Hood coming for the, uh... 
Kauha? I think I'm... I'm not sure on how I say any of the uh, Persona skills now, because apparently IHA is not how you say that one. Go figure! I mean, I thought I was saying it right, but at least I have the core ones like Aggie and, you know, Bufu down, but... It's just that easy, baby! If you know the enemy's weaknesses before the fight even starts, you can get an all-out attack, and they're all... De Wait, what? They actually lived? Crud! Okay, um... Not good, but because Ryuji is our man, he is gonna protect everybody. And now we're in the boost state, so we can just go stinking crazy. None of our skills are gonna cost any uh, SP or HP, so uh, it's pretty much GG. <laughs> These guys can't do much of anything, so let's just wrap it up. This fight could be really tricky if somehow you lost Joker at the very start, but chances are you should have him. And with that, we're done with our first sort of mini battle. In fact, there's not a lot of true boss fights in Persona Q. You get a lot of like mini skirmishes, but those mini skirmishes, specifically with the FOEs, can get crazy. So you gotta be careful. So I'm just really hyper. I really love this game a lot. And I'm like nerding out on all the like tiny little details, but what the dump? Uh, the heck is this? It's shiny, ooh. It appears to be a segment of film. Its beauty really is quite stunning. <laughs> That may come in you somehow. Why don't we take it with us? But Akechi, that's stealing. Oh wait, we're the Phantom Thieves. Whoa. Anyways, I'm gonna open up this um shortcut because I am a perfectionist. And I think now we have the one, we should have 100% of the map clear. Yeah, we got it. So now we've stepped on every single tile in the dungeon. Once you do that, a chest will open up and I've marked that chest with the yellow chest icon. So let's actually backtrack a little bit and check that out. So you'll know you find the chest because it has, well, like this little like map thing on it. This is what I was talking about. If you explore all of a floor, you can open these or you can spend play coins. Yeah, remember those? I do. Um, The game says useful items, but really they're just okay. Don't stress out if you don't get 100% of a dungeon cleared because, oh wow, a heal stone, only usable in battle. Doesn't vanish after use though. Pretty nice, but by no means like a game changer. It's just a kind of helpful item. I will make mention if there is a super useful one though. But with that, we are done with the first floor. And if you got through all that, hey, pat yourself on the back. That wasn't easy, but you did it. And that's huge. We finally made it to those stairs from earlier. Looks like we can go downstairs from here. What should we do? <laughs> I don't know, let's go downstairs. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Going down to subway. Oh no! Now I have no map. What the crud do I do? Uh. Don't worry. I'll get you guys next time. And Joker, wait, stop, stop. What is it? Is there a trap up ahead? Or no, it's about something back here in the movie theater. Remember that door we found that had authorized personnel only on it? Uh oh, that does not sound good. Oh yeah, the locked one. What about it? Huh? Suddenly picked up a bizarre, super strong reading from beyond that door. Um, the reading? You mean an enemy? N no, it's totally new to me. Some strange presence. Even Nagi doesn't know what it could be. It's highly unlikely to be Queen or Noir, but I think we should check it out. Okay, sounds fine to me. <laughs> I smell danger. <laughs> if so, then we'll need to return to the movie theater. It's your call. Uh, yeah, why not? Got nothing better to do, I guess. Okay. Come back as quick as you can. I'll be waiting. A mysterious presence, eh? <laughs> I'm curious as to what it could be. I have a pretty good feeling about what it is, but I'll keep that to myself. While it's on and returning my minions. <laughs> Aren't we the... Whatever. Stuff you mentioned about the door got us all curious. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, you're worried about us? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> S sorry, was it something I said? Uh, I think she's just in love with you, on <laughs> um, I'm sure that's not the case. Hikari-san must not be used to all of this yet. That's all. Okay, whatever. Hikari. <laughs> By the way, Futaba, what's the situation with the most powerful unknown presence you mentioned earlier? And can I paint them? Uh, yeah, um, about that. I'm sensing mysterious power in the testing screening room here. It's an odd presence. I've never felt before. And I'm picking up some weird noises, too. What? I is it something dangerous? Like, that's- those FOEs? Mm, 
I'm pretty sure it's different. Uh, you haven't any idea either, Nagi-san? Correct. While she claims something is in there, I have no clue what it could be. This is rather peculiar. We should look into it ourselves. Who knows what we'll find on the other side, though. We should be cautious. You too should remain here for your own safety. We'll investigate this and report back. Okay. Very well. Please don't endanger yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get going! There's the room. Whoa. Nah, it's no use. I can't get it open. Eh, what's you up to? Uh, can't you tell I'm trying to pick the lock on the door? Uh, y you still haven't gotten it? Uh, I, I just started a minute ago, okay? <laughs> These things are hard. What? The that reminds me, Morgana. How about those locks on the entrance? Uh, oh, about that. I tried again, but I still couldn't crack them. Feels bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I do this cat on a monopia? Uh, I heard something in there. Could someone be inside? If someone's trapped in there, we can't just leave them! Maybe we should. No, we gotta do the courageous thing. Let's do this. Let's get that door open! Come on! So we're going to open it. Then let's be sure to remain on guard. Morgana, sorry to ask, but could you try a little more? For me? Uh, of course. Um, Just watch me, Lady On. <laughs> Uh, but if a guard dog or something jumps out, you better say me quick, got it? <laughs> One can only hope it's merely a dog. Mona, hurry up and open it! Okay, gosh! Wah! <laughs> oh, that's just the gremlin. <laughs> Uh, a couple of kids? Are they lost or something? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Something seems off about calling them lost kids. What? What the? Where is our master? I totally forget which is which. Um, Justine, look, it's him. Huh? So, you're here as well, inmate. Hey, inmate, where are we? What are you doing here? Huh? Uh. <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. But hey, it's good to see you guys again. Is this your doing? Hold on, Caroline. I doubt such a simple prisoner would be capable of that. Hey! Most likely, he himself knows nothing about this. Then, then what happened? I do not know. Ooh, what little cuties! And they're twins! <laughs> what the crap? I, 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 think, I think she would like those two, and... Hey! You know these rug rats? <laughs> rug rats! Such blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Quit being so rude and show them some respect. Eh? Why, why, why are you on their side, Morgana? What the crud? Uh, I thought we were homies. N no, that's not it. But it just feels weird, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, no? Wait, is this foreshadowing something? I think it might be. At any rate... Tell us of your circumstances here, inmate. Uh, it's just kind of this. You know, we're just hanging out so far anyways. We'll listen to what you have to say in this room here. Hey, you cat. Wait, was that, was that Caroline or Justine? I don't remember. Uh, uh yeah, yes, report for duty. Escort the prisoner into our room and make it snappy. Why, why me? Ooh. Just dots, nothing else. <laughs> Mysterious! I'll do it, of course, w with pleasure! Um, Don't forget the rest of those people as well. Oh wait, that was okay. Oh man, I gotta get that down, gosh. <laughs> I guess we're the rest of those people? <laughs> Sorry, Catchy, you're not special like me. Seriously, wh who are they? Morgana, why are you ta taking their orders? Yeah, it's a little odd. Have you been smitten by their Lack of height. I don't like what. <laughs> maybe they can. Maybe it's relatable for him. Oh, for real? Yo, which one's your type? Uh, don't be ridiculous. My love is only for Lady On. I love her so much. She's the greatest girl ever. I can't dispute that. Those two have something unwavering within them. When they look me through those eyes, I get this feeling that I just have to listen to them. Sounds like 
You're whipped. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, nothing like that. It's more like there's something deep in my core. That's feeling that screams I have to do what they say. Wells up inside me. Uh, TMI. Not like that wells up in me, that's for sure. <laughs> well, just for me, okay? I have no idea why. Uh, if they're acquaintances of leader, I believe we can trust them. They'll be fine. Come on. Can't make them wait. Okay. Here we go. Oh. It's the room. But it looks weird. Well, comparatively less weird given our last one was a prison, but... But a curiously blue room. It has a certain coziness to it. Uh, I guess you could say that. Could this room's appearance also be attributed to the anomaly? Uh, I'm sure we'll figure out eventually. Hey, introduce us to them. Do I have to? Likewise. And tell us about this movie theater that we're trapped in as well. Uh, so there's this movie, right? And it's, it's Kamushita Man, but then he be, he beats up the dude and it falls on the, the girl's dad. And then she is sad because her dad is dead. And Kamushita Man's just like, <laughs> I'm epic. I see. That sounds awful. You're not lying to us, are you? <laughs> no, I don't think I am. Either way, now we understand the whole velvet room thing, and we just gloss over that giant detail. But the little warden twins up uh, inmate, you're telling us that there's essentially no way out of here? Uh, so far anyway, yeah, basically. To think that we wardens would become prisoners. Justine, there's no point obser over us observing this. Let's simply call it a part of his rehabilitation. <laughs> okay. Indeed. It'd be best to accept the situation as such for now. Fortunately, this is a velvet room. Give thanks, inmate. We shall take on the task of fusing personas here. Okay, that works good for me. That'd be helpful. You better be grateful. Still, you need to wait for a while longer until our preparations are complete. What? Why can't do it now? It seems we're a bit out of our element here. We've been freely able to wield countless personas. Yeah, inmate? We refer to that ability as the power of the wild card. However, that power seems to be altered here. This sounds like a gameplay mechanic, but what the heck you mean? I already know, full disclosure, but... Simply put, you cannot take off our sin. A lot of people got really happy all of a sudden. Real talk, all right, slight tangent. I get this comment on every single Persona game I've ever done. Why doesn't he keep Orpheus? Why doesn't he keep Izanagi? Why doesn't he keep Arsene? The whole point of the game is to fuse them away. I'm sorry, I can't use level one Persona to beat the final boss. Uh, so, hey, this game's for y'all, I guess, but <laughs> I'm not actually mad, but it seems that I can't change my Personas. Bummer. Everyone, are you all say? Oh, what the crud is going on in here? My, I recall this room as being the testing screening room. Uh, who's that? <laughs> Pardon us, please. We grew too concerned for you all. Uh, twins? <laughs> we were informed about you two earlier. There's no need to trouble yourselves with us. Um, would you like some popcorn? <laughs> Looks like uh, we're going to have to do some more introductions and catching up. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> not going to lie. So, yeah, there's these uh, small children, and they're very strong. Do, do not make them mad. Uh, I see. So much is happening all so quickly. Yeah, be like that. If it will help aid in our escape, then please use this facility as you deem necessary. I see you've already redecorated without my permission. Um, are you two their friends as well? The word friend is wholly unsuitable for us. Dang, y'all mean! We are in charge of his rehabilitation. Rehabilitation? <laughs> How old is Sakari? I'm not sure, but... Well then, inmate, continue deciding yourself. To rehabilitation here. This inability to manifest your power of the wild card should be considered a test. Y'all just making this up as you go, aren't you? So he can't change personas? 
It's a real setback, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, yeah, uh, well, this would be nicer to say. I'm relying on all of you. Literally this time. Right. That's how it should be. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. Um, hold on. Hold on, inmate. What's that you have there? Hand over that shining object within your pocket. Uh, but it's ours. Shining object? Perhaps they're referring to that uh, bit of film? Yes, they literally are. We hand it over. This. Yeah, we just happen to find it. Do you know what it is? A shining film. It holds infinite possibilities within. Those infinite possibilities that exist within one's heart. In other words, personas. With this, you should be able to take on an additional persona besides Arsene. What? What? Really? A second persona? Does that mean double the firepower? <gasps> That's so OP. <laughs> yes, it is not balanced whatsoever. I mean, no. The second persona that can be taken on won't be the same strength as the original. If Arsene is the main persona, any others taken on are considered sub-personas. Think of it merely as an aid to the original one. <sighs> Joker, this makes no sense. <laughs> Still, two at the same time. Quite impressive. My hat's off to you. It's very cool, I know. Now, inmate, look at this. Yeah, it's shiny. We peer into the shining film. Whoa! It's a pixie! What a crud! A pixie emerged from the film. Dope. So we acquired the shining film of pixie. I don't really get it. What kind of movie just has a pixie? But dang! That wild cars thing is sick! You're so lucky, man. I wish I could double up my personas. Caroline? Yeah. It would seem so, Justine. Ooh, what's up? The rest of you are also capable of taking on a second persona. For real? Not just him? Dude! Obviously, that would be the case in a standard scenario. But here you may borrow and use the personas that take form in a prisoner's heart. Why that is, though? Could it be due to the power of the wild card changing? Uh, who cares? <laughs> but, you know, aren't you guys in charge of this? Like, what's up with that? Watch your tongue, inmate! All you should be doing is making use of that power without the attitude. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Even so, the feeling I have, it's as if another with the power of the wild card is here as well. Hmm. So what you're saying is, we can now summon another persona besides our usual one. Yeah, that's what we've been saying for five minutes. Oh man, I'm so psyched! Main and sub persona, huh? Will I be able to handle using both of them? I'm sure you can. Well, we've got Akira to help us with that. After all, he's our specialist in wielding multiple persona. If anything, this will broaden our strategies. So it'll be even less for us to fear, right? Yeah, basically. While the situation is unusual, you're still a prisoner. Aw, oh, man. Do not neglect your rehabilitation. Man, y'all never let me have fun. Shoot. Um, wait, a man's voice? Who's saying that? What the crud? Listen here. You all better make certain to keep a close eye on our prisoner for us. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> what insolence. Do you wish to be executed as well? A little girl and militaristic? I feel like I've discovered a new obsession. <laughs> uh, p p pardon me. Um, you scared you say something? No, not I. I thought I heard someone's voice. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oh my gosh, am I going crazy? Um, just a moment of your time. Uh, on, behind you. Who is that? Uh, what? Oh, it's him! Uh, finally, someone noticed me. I know I blend into the surroundings, but... Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where are you supposed to be? And more importantly, who are you? What? I can hear the call for me. <laughs> She's here! Another one! Oh my gosh! Hey, Justine, uh... Are those two... Everyone, we are most pleased to make your acquaintances. <laughs> Who the heck are you guys? And why are you all blue? What? I am Elizabeth. This here is my younger brother, Theodore. Pleased to meet you. 
My name is Theodore. I already said that, Theo! How long have you been, uh, standing there? <laughs> we are always by your side. Anytime. Anywhere. Gosh, I love Elizabeth. She's the best. Okay, more mind warping crap. God. I don't get what's going on here. Oh, this is so weird, and I'm I'm a cat thing. What the crap? The world is full of mysteries. My own comprehension cannot keep up in the last least either. <laughs> it's it's okay. You'll figure it out eventually. You know, they're wearing similar clothes to the twins. Could they be like co-workers? <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. Well, maybe it's best to say that we are all attendants of the Velvet Room. Indeed. However, let's omit the details for now, and instead cut to the chase. Uh, th that's right. While coming to this world, I was separated from my guest. I've searched everywhere in this movie theater, but I found nary a trace of her. Of her? Your guest? What? Is she wearing all blue, too? <laughs> no. But she'd look great in it, I'm sure. But that's not the case. She's a high school girl wearing headphones. Uh, headphones? I've got headphones. But I'm not a high schooler. Don't tell the police that, but, uh, I don't know. We haven't seen anyone like that, right? Mm, nope, not yet. But I'm sure she's coming up. <laughs> I haven't a clue either. Holy crap, there's so many characters in this one room! Thank God it's giant! How about you, Hakari-san? Uh... No! Well, there goes that. I see. This is troubling. Could this girl be inside the movie? Like how we se we're separated from our friends? Inside the movie? Whatever do you- Theo, don't ask such frivolous questions. You must simply perceive their meaning. Well, uh, um, forgive me. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, okay, Theo. I guess if we find this girl, we'll go ahead and bring her back. Oh, thank you so much. It would be most helpful. Theo, it takes more than attitude to express one's gratitude. Uh, uh, more than attitude? So you mean I need to bow deeply as well? Not in the least. According to my intuition, I believe these people have slipped into this world out of the blue, <laughs> like us, and are now trapped here. And mayhap their only exit is secured within numerous intimidating locks. How'd you know all that? What the? Yeah, that is weird. Much happens in the course of life. We've experienced quite a bit for ourselves. Uh, our arrival here was inevitable as well. We may have been delivered here by fate. That is why my foolish younger brother, Theodore, will be providing you with all the assistance you need. What? What? Uh, uh, sister? I'm cool with that. Uh, good company on the road is the shortest cut to one's grave. I believe is the saying. You're making up stuff like crazy. What? In any case, we must uphold the spirit of helping those in need. All right, sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, can we trust you guys? I don't know, you look a little fishy to me. Yeah, right. First we thought you were the, with those twins, but seems like you're not. What? But they don't look like enemies. Maybe we'll be fine trusting them. Or not. Uh, so, how specifically would you be aiding us? Well, there are any places nearby where we can set up shop and fleece you. <laughs> I, I mean, um, please you with our fine wares. Perhaps. Uh, she totally just said fleece you. I, I didn't hear that. La 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 la. <laughs> I've been downvoted. What? God, that's so stupid. <laughs> There's a concession stand in the lobby. Uh, how about there? It, that was my thing, though. What? Uh, I'll gladly show you the way, though. Mm, sister? Those two over there. Oh, my. What have we here? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I see they don't get along. I see. Now listen, Theo. It would be uncomfortable to meddle in the things beyond necessity. Uh, but, sister... Nothing meaningless happens. There must be a reason for our summoning to this place. And searching for that reason may be another necessity. Justine, what do you think they are? I feel as if they are related to the core of our existence. Who knows what our master will have to say about this. Let's not delve into it any further for now. <laughs> You're right. 
so long as they don't interfere with the prisoner's rehabilitation. Now listen up, inmate. Until we escape this theater, we allow you to move out freely. In other words, you're on parole. <laughs> That's really funny. Do not forget about your rehabilitation, though. All right, I'm on a boss. Oh my gosh, she's doing the thing. Now then, everyone, let us all skedaddle to the concession stand. <laughs> gosh, I never knew I missed Elizabeth this much. Over here's the shop. After you, please. Uh, oh, this is quite impressive. There is an abundance of space. I believe that I can prepare a number of items here that will be useful to you. Oh, like that? Like what? Maybe some new sweets? Ooh! Well, I'm afraid I don't know all the details just yet. I do apologize for that. I must first prepare for the grand opening. So won't you allow me some time to do so? I vow to provide an assortment of goods that will make your hearts dance and rapture. Ain't that serious, but uh, yo, you better cut us a discount, homie. We're on the same team here. Uh, wholesale prices? Ah, uh, I understand. There's no need to worry about that. All the wares I shall sell you will be entirely whole, with pieces to match. With prices to match, okay. I have no interest in half measures. That's good to hear. You're not scamming us like your sister. You must be having fun, Theodore. It's as if you're a veteran shopkeeper. A veteran? Well, what a wonderful ring that term has. I merely come to realize that I don't mind doing things of this nature. That's good. <laughs> By the way, well, well, yes, well, they shouldn't be washed. Mm. My, this food stuff called popcorn. Mm. Yeah, I'm still having fun. Sister, it's ill-mannered to eat and speak at the same time. Theo, you should try shoving this in your mouth as much as well. Are you attempting to desiccate me? This is just like the confounded soybean powder all over again. D um, it's okay. I freaked out about the blue brigade at first, but when I saw him, now I think these guys are ultimately harmless. You have no idea, Futaba. Wow. Okay. <laughs> mm, my, this is quite. Oh, if I were to change the seasonings, mm, perhaps it could create new flavors. New flavors? But what's wrong with butter? Well, oh, does that not interest you? Then I shall fully devote myself to the creation of new varieties of popcorn. Nuggy son, these people are crazy. Uh. <laughs> it's fine by me, especially if it would be of assistance to everyone. Also, I could not say no to after seeing such a hopeful look on your face, Hakari-san. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll leave it to you then. I think I look forward to the new varieties of popcorn as well. <laughs> of course. Now, please wait just a short while longer until my preparations here are completed. Okay, cool. We got the Velvet Gang back, and sub-personas have been unlocked. Also, Theo is making some weird kind of popcorn. We got it. Now, that has been taken care of. We're gonna learn about sub-personas. They boost the stats of your main persona, but you gotta be careful. If your main persona and your sub-persona have two differing levels, the bonus won't be as huge. So you gotta keep that in mind. We're gonna get more sub-personas as time goes on. But for right now, we can't really worry about that because the Velvet Room's still kind of a work in progress. The Velvet Twins, you know, they're kind of like hammering like crap to the walls and stuff. You get it, but that is going to have to be in the next episode. So holy dump, this one was too long, but we did it. We cleared out the first floor. And next time in Persona Q2, we're going to get working on the second avenue. So see you guys then. Bye.